Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here and today we are enjoying a kind of windy but beautiful end of the day. It is such a beautiful sunset right now. I started this video as the sun is beginning its setting process so it's gonna be really beautiful. We're gonna be enjoying it together, just having the best time of our lives, smoking a ciggy and I have to introduce the special guest of today's video. Guys be kind, he's shy and he hasn't been here ever before. It's a Coca-Cola and it has a little dent because my, my father actually owns a restaurant kind of bar bar near the beach and whenever he gets some cans that are just ugly he will not sell them to the public and he will donate them to me or to his fridge where I stole this from and now I'm saying he, he gave it to me so it seems less bad but in fact I just went to his fridge and I took it and now it's mine and I'm going to drink it and why is this happening you might ask well I was counting through my YouTube comments the other day and I realized that were a lot of people actually telling me that the best combination of soda with the cigarette is the coca-cola the coke you know this thing i don't know how you because i feel like if i call it coke people are going to think i'm talking about something else you know so i'm talking about coca-cola guys this thing i've seen a lot of people telling me that that is the best combination that they have ever had in a cigarette you know something to enjoy with a cigarette and i'm always looking for something that i can drink along with a cigarette during the summer because it's going to be really cold here in portugal it's going to reach near the 40 degrees celsius some days and i need some cold beverage that i can have with a cigarette now first of all before i even say this is going to be what i'm actually going to be drinking during summer i have to see if this combination even is good at all so i'm going to be using my john player special cigarette one of my i still have a lot of them actually in the pack i bought this pack at the same time that i bought the lucky strike amber but i'm not smoking the lucky strike embers ever again so that's why my pack is still pretty much full and you will remain that way for a long time but i have one of my john player special cigarettes and i'm gonna have try to have it with a coca-cola or coke and we're gonna see how enjoyable it actually is so first of all let us light up this cigarette or should i open this first because i don't know how well this is gonna open actually it's pretty uh, weird looking, so I hope it doesn't explode on me. Oh my god, I didn't think about this. What if it explodes on me? I'm gonna be like really sad. Please. Okay. He's just a little bit damaged on the outside, but the inside still remains beautiful and perfect. And I'm so proud of you. Good job. Let's go. Let's take a sip. I'd say it's pretty strange to take a sip of a coca-cola when there's a little dent on the can but am I gonna complain about that? No, and I also have his son over here. Look, they're siblings. I had a little coca-cola can in my car from a day or two ago and look how cute they are I love them anyway let's light up our John player special because I already am talking so much about coca-cola and not enough about cigarettes so let, let's light this up and let's see how this combination goes well together or not now something that I have to say about this John Player special with a little bit of sadness in my heart is that although I know this is statistically and technically the most sold cigarette in Portugal it is definitely not one of my favorites it is one of those cigarettes that I first I kind of enjoyed it and the more I smoke it seems like the less I'm enjoying it I'm getting tired of the flavor the buzz isn't that good the amount of smoke is kind of eh so I don't know man, I don't know, Portuguese population is a little bit behind on what the best cigarette to buy is. I've been trying to tell everyone it's Chesterfield Originals, but people still don't want to listen to me. So I'll get keep them to myself, I'll buy all of them. Now, I'm going to take a hit of the cigarette and then take a sip of my Coca-Cola and see how well they, t they both go together. Alrighty. Wow, okay. So this tastes, this is gonna sound really dumb and I promise it doesn't taste as bad as I'm describing it to be, okay? Have you ever smelled a cleaning product like to bleach the floor or something like that? This kind of tastes like that, but in a very subtle way and it also tastes kind of good. Like it's not bad, I've never tasted any of those products, but by the smell of them, you can like, you can kind of understand what they would taste like, right? This kind of tastes like that, like cleaning products but in a good way i don't know how to explain this okay i'm having a very great experience with this right now i'm not gonna lie coca-cola just tastes so good john player special 
tastes meh, but they both combined kind of taste like cleaning products. I don't know, I feel like Coca-Cola <laughs> this is really funny because Coca-Cola is used in my household to clean things because this is like a very abrasive thing, I guess. I don't know how to describe this in English, but it's like very good to clean things. So I feel like I am associating the smell and taste of Coca-Cola to cleaning something because that's just what a lot of people in my house used to clean. So that might be why. But this is a still a very great experience. Don't take me wrong, I'm not saying this is bad whatsoever. It's really good. It just sort of reminds me of a cleaning session and not so much of a smoking session. I'm getting really tired of this John Player special really quickly. I feel like it's just not a flavor in a cigarette that I enjoy and I don't really know why. I feel like it could be because it is a bit too chemical for my preference, I guess. I like cigarettes that taste more natural or more woody, as I like to say, and I feel like a lot of other people like to say as well. This is not just, it's just a little bit too chemical for me and I feel like that might be why I'm getting so tired of them. It is what it is, it's just my, just my opinion. But this combination is not letting me down because although I don't really love the taste of this cigarette, it's combining really well with the taste of the Coke and it's giving me a, like a sensation of freshness and coolness that I feel like is going to be really good for the summer and the sun is hitting my face so strongly and I'm going blind. But definitely very enjoyable experience, like I feel like I'm being a little bit harsh on the John Player special, but I just gotta critique it, you know, I gotta be here, I'm not gonna be here being like this cigarette is perfect, it's so good. Because to me, it is not, you know, but for a lot of people in Portugal, apparently it is because it's the most sold cigarette over here for some reason. But not bad experience. I mean, I like this. I feel like I would enjoy this even more if this was a Guarana or one of those sodas of those types, you know, because I don't know, Guarana is my favorite soda ever. It's a Brazilian so soda sold here in Portugal and a lot of other countries, I would say. I don't know if it's available in America or not, but I feel like Guarana goes really well with cigarettes. Coca-Cola goes well as well, but just not as well, you know? goes well as well. Wow, that was funny. But you know what? I would say this is like an seven and a half out of ten experience. I feel like if I had a Chesterfield original in my hand instead of a John Player special, this would be like a nine out of ten. Because the ten out of ten would be what I now would Chesterfield original. And you might be asking, you know, Connie, if you are always talking about these stupid Chesterfield original cigarettes, why don't you just smoke them? only and that is because my curiosity is greater than my love for Chesterfield originals and I still want to be trying every cigarette out there so that's why I don't only smoke Chesterfield originals because I feel like if I maybe if I didn't start a channel about cigarettes and if I didn't have such curiosity on trying different brands and just different flavors maybe I would just stick to Chesterfield originals but the truth of the matters is that an expression the truth of the matter is that I really like trying different cigarettes and that's why I don't just smoke them I just answered a question that I don't know if anyone would ever ask, but in case someone was asking themselves why I talk so much about these one cigarettes and I don't all only smoke them, that's because I'm a very curious person and I like to try other things. But you know what? To combat the heat of the summer, I feel like a Coca-Cola with the cigarette will always be a good option. You know, any soda, any fresh soda, this is straight out of the fridge, still has some water droplets on it. It's very good. I'm enjoying it. I'm not feeling hot at all. I'm not having any overheating sensation, although it's not summer yet and it's like 20 degrees Celsius outside. Although I am very dramatic and sometimes it's 20 degrees outside and I'm already sweating and feeling like it's summer. So I don't know. I don't really like hot weather, I'm going to be honest. But nonetheless, you know, 7.5 out of 10 is what I would give to this experiment. Not bad at all, not the best I've ever had. And I think that the fault is on John Player Special. I don't know, I really, I kind of really enjoyed these cigarettes when I first tried them. And each cigarette that I smoke, my enjoyment for them is declining a little bit. I don't know why, it is what it is. I'm gonna try something new next. Probably not gonna go back to the John Player Special, but I had to try it just because it was the most sold cigarette over here. And I wanted to know what that was, you know? Is this even recording? I completely forgot to check. <sighs> oh, thank God it was recording because if it wasn't, then this would have been a very sad thing. I mean, I would have still smoked by myself and had a lot of fun and talked a lot, but no one on the internet would ever see it.
So that would be a disappointment. But you know what? I've enjoyed this experience and I hope you enjoyed chilling with me as well. The sun is finally hiding behind a tree. It's not hitting my face as strongly anymore, which I appreciate. And I'm just going to be here standing for a little while watching the sunset and just enjoying my life, you know. And I hope you enjoyed as well. And I hope you come back very soon. Bye.